What's going on everyone? My name is Kyle Sokar and today we're at Elmer's BMW taking a closer look at the 2019 BMW X7. Now without further ado, let's just get right into it. So this black sapphire metallic beast of a vehicle has these huge kidney grills which everybody was ranting and raving about online. Now in person they do look fantastic. The X5s are much bigger than the predecessor and now with the X7, this is the first X7 ever. Uh, they are absolutely monstrous but it really shows the status of this car on the road and, and the just overall uh, presence of it uh, when you're seeing it come down. Obviously, you got the new BMW LED lights with the beautiful halos, more of like an octagonal look like they've been doing on a lot of the M cars and everything new uh, 18 and beyond. Uh, a lot of cool aerodynamics here. This is the 5.0, so we're gonna take a look under the hood in just a second and take a look at the twin turbo V8 that produces 456 horsepower. So despite the fact that this vehicle is nearly 6,000 pounds, it still does zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds. Now this beautiful V8, obviously twin turbo, uh, massive, massive motor, similar to the F10 M5, the 2013 and beyond M5, and those M6s, it has a very similar look to it, uh, and pretty much every V8 BMW has been putting out that's high performing, um, and this is the kind of the next step up, propelling this car to speeds ridiculously fast for an SUV this size. Now, taking a closer look at the side of this car, you can see a lot of design elements uh, carried over from the new 5 and 7 series, uh, as well as the X5 with this hockey puck or hockey stick looking side piece of trim. Uh, it's got the 21 inch uh, Y spoke wheels on it, finished in gloss black, which looks super cool, kind of giving this car a blacked out look. Uh, coming around to the back of the car, you're gonna see obviously the X7 designation as well as the X Drive and 5.0 designation. It's sim simply saying that it is the X Drive uh, all wheel drive system from BMW and then the 5.0, which is designated uh, designation for the motor. Uh, some stylistic elements here from the 7 series and the taillights looking very similar. You got this uh, brushed silver valence on the bottom that looks really cool. And then obviously you got your tow hitch right here that has a capacity of up to 7,500 pounds. So taking a closer look inside of the gorgeous BMW X7, you're gonna see the all new updated interior. However, the X7, this is a first. Uh, this is the interior uh, similar with features of the BMW X5. Now this particular car does not have the crystal shift knob that everybody online absolutely loves, but it has a lot of great features like the new iDrive uh, 6.0 as well as the updated iDrive controller uh, and all of the metal finishes on the controls. Now this car uh, is ridiculously spacious and it goes up against competitors of course like the Audi Q7 and the Mercedes GLS and cars like the Infiniti QX lineup. So personally I think this is the best out of all of those cars. I've driven them all and I've seen all of them uh, quite a bit and I think this car looks the best, has the best road presence and has the best interior fit and finish. Now this car has the Harman Kardon uh, sound system that is absolutely beautiful. Everything is leather down to the, you know, armrests um, and the side of the doors all the way up here. It's beautiful. And then you've got the wood trim as well. It's kind of this black, uh, very stylish looking trim with the ambient lighting throughout. It's got all of the technology that you need and a little bit above it just to make it a really luxurious experience. So coming over to the technology side of this car, uh, you're gonna see the new BMW LCD uh, display for the cluster that is gorgeous and it shows you all of your options. So no matter what you're pressing, you know exactly what you're getting into with the car. And that also gets portrayed over here to the iDrive system. It's got the new iDrive 6.0. Uh, you can go through all of your settings here with the iDrive controller. Uh, number one is going to be media, so you've got all of your different uh, media sections for Bluetooth, audio, and radio, and stuff like that. And then you've got your communication section for your phone, uh, etc. And you've got your navigation section for all of your navigating needs. And then the vehicle section to show you all different things like the vehicle status and your oil levels and your check control, etc. Going back, very easy to use, uh, just like all other iDrive systems in the past. You go to the left and you can pretty much use it like you're uh, looking through a book. And then you go ahead and go to the end, which is your apps, and then you've got installed apps. Uh, right now there's nothing here, but this can be stuff like weather, um, et cetera. Uh, you can have Pandora and things like that as well. Uh, not too many limitations there. Uh, when you change different driving modes, that's gonna be something huge. There's, you can start off in 
uh, eco mode or you, know, you can go to adaptive it could figure out exactly what you are trying to achieve with the style of driving or you can go into eco pro which is more of a economical uh, mode where it's going to be a little bit more difficult to the pedal is going to be a little bit less responsive uh, it's going to be more laid back and it's going to be for optimum fuel economy going into comfort more of a balanced setting takes in everything um, to make just the best ride possible for the comfort uh, levels not taking into fuel economy as much and not taking into performance as much kind of that sweet spot in the middle and then you've got sport uh, which is going to increase the uh, sensitivity of everything make it a little bit more sporty tighten up the steering a little bit and then you've got uh, you click sport again and uh, you can get into sport individual which is going to be your custom setting whatever con configuration that you decide uh, you would like so if you go over to configure individual obviously this is a touch screen as well you can go to different things that you want so if you want your steering to be comfortable but your engine to be in sport you can do so uh, same with your suspension dampening as well so with that being said let's go into some of the controls on the steering wheel uh, you're gonna see right here you've got your um, speed limit control right here uh, it says LIM for limiter and then you've got your uh, distance right here for how far you want to keep the distance between the vehicle in front of you uh, when you are in the assisting mode uh, you've got the assisted driving mode button right here toggles it on and off and you've got your dis distance control mode right here this is how you set your cruise just the set button similar to old BMWs as well uh, you've got your volume toggle right here for the radio also can be controlled by things like the gestures that we've all seen before uh, that is really convenient if you're driving and it's cool a little feature to show off to your friends uh, coming over here you could toggle through different radio stations uh, and other things like that right here uh, back and forth with songs you've got your answering and denying phone call button uh, and you've got your BMW um, assist which is like pretty much like the iPhone Siri uh, you've got that here with BMW which is actually incredibly good uh, in new models uh, you want to tell it an address and it will actually find it with no hiccups practically every time so ridiculously ridiculously cool car coming over to the left side uh, you've got your heated and cooled seats options right here um, you know your standard controls your rear sunshade controls etc everything's finished in this nice aluminum stainless steel style finish that looks really good uh, one button I left on the steering wheel is the heated steering wheel which is in the Chicago winters a must-have um, if you do buy a new BMW so coming over here pretty much your traditional setup we just went through some of the buttons what we didn't go over is the LCD display um, right here uh, right now it's covered in the plastic just to retain its you know beauty for the new owner but that is awesome because you toggle up and down here and you can uh, oh not right here you can toggle up and down for your different temperatures and um, you can change fan speed and you can change temperatures right here and then you come down here you will see the suspension mode and you can the suspension height rather uh, since this vehicle is equipped with air suspension you can go up and down if you want to lower or raise the vehicle which is definitely a cool thing um, it'll tell you right now since the door is open in the back it won't let me do it but if the doors are closed you can surely do that looking over here auto hold is essentially a automatic parking brake for when you come up to a stop plate or a stop if you have auto hold engaged and you click your foot on the brake it will stay right there uh, until you hit the gas again and then coming down here obviously you've got your parking brake and then the last button on this that we have not went over is going to be your uh, parking or your hill climb assist which is going to help you uh, with the transmission and other technology keep the car slowed down uh, when it is that you are going down a hill or up a hill uh, vice versa and then you've obviously got your camera buttons and everything standard to the old BMWs as well and your traction control button there as well same kind of deal unlock the parking uh, select the gear select selector right here and then to put it in the back in the park you press the little P and then you are back in the park that kind of wraps up the interior of the X7 uh, I'll go over really quick you'll see a shot of the roof that is completely glass and looks gorgeous uh, and we'll go over some of the back of this car which is really the game changer in the x7 versus everything previous in bmw's lineup so taking a look at the back of the x7 which is what everybody wants to see this has the optional captain's chairs which is practically an escalade style uh setup 
or any of the bigger SUVs on the market. Uh, these are absolutely ridiculously comfortable um, and it leaves a good amount of space to walk through not the biggest amount of space in the world, uh, and that has definitely been something up for controversy, but if you're a regularly sized person, you should not have a ridiculous problem if the armrests are put down uh, to step into the back seat. Uh, X7 designation down here, a bunch of USB-C charging ports, there's one right here, and then two right here, and then another right there. Uh, for four uh, USB charging, BC charging ports, you could see that's something that's definitely gonna be taking over in the near future. Uh, slide these over and you've got a little area right there for entertainment uh, to be mounted and um, you've obviously got your rear climate control right here with the same kind of style of buttons and your heated seats and an LCD display uh, with your fan settings and your climate control settings. Looking over here you've got your you know typical window buttons but you've also got your automatic sunshade buttons right here so when you click the sunshade for both sides uh, you're gonna be able to put it up automatically, which is pretty cool. And you've got your rear uh, and above sunshade as well. So the third row uh, uh, sunshade or the sunroof cover, would you? It will cover up uh, from the control back here, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's take a closer look at the back seats. Uh, you'll see the amount of space back there. Not the most ridiculous amount of space, but definitely usable. Uh, and definitely makes this vehicle qualify uh, for having the capability to sit, for fit six passengers. So hopping all the way back here, you're gonna see that each side has a cup holder for its individual uh, passenger. And then it's also got an individual USB charging port on both sides uh, for people's devices back here as well. So that totals six uh, of those in the back of the car no shortage of power there and you've got your climate control up here as well uh, for the back seat driver as well as the buttons here for their seat adjustments um, not only for the back seats but the headrests for the back seats as well for folding them in and then you've got the automatic adjustments uh, and full seat motors in the you know mid row of seats so opening up the rear hatch of this X7, uh, traditional to the X5, you've got your top portion and you've got your little 20% of it down here that unfolds by itself. Uh, now this comes out automatically and they both open and close automatically and you've got buttons here um, for different modes for the tailgate. And then over here, you're gonna see buttons that say uh, max legroom and then max cargo capacity. So if you click max cargo, um, the seats take a little bit, but they should fold down for you like that and making it really straightforward. You don't have to click some random buttons. Uh, you know right away, I'm looking for max cargo and then you've got your, this right back here that is a cover, but you can take that out very easily just by pulling it out like that. With that being said, I wanna thank you guys so very much for watching and taking a closer look at the 2019 BMW X7 with me. This car is for sale at Elmhurst BMW in Elmhurst, Illinois, located at 500 West Lake Street. Uh, just 25 minutes west of Chicago. Now next, I'm gonna do a video review of the BMW 850, so be sure to stay tuned, and I wanna thank you guys once again so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.